Hey, Dad, pretty much Adam Dukes here, and I'm going to share a quick, it's such a simple, brain dead simple tip on how to build instant trust with your marketplace. This works for if you're in business, this works with relationships uh, with your partner, this, work, this would work with your kids, this works with any any interaction you have, not just business. This is just life. And it's so simple. It's so stupid. Um, I got a haircut today, obviously. It's kind of funny. Now that I'm doing these daily YouTube videos, I'm much more concerned about getting my haircut uh, maybe a little bit earlier than normal. Uh, obviously, I haven't seen the razor in a few days. Although with me, this is about three weeks. It takes forever to grow a beard. Uh, but anyways, I was getting my haircut today and it was a lady. I go to the same place. I go probably once a month. And I had never seen her before. She was brand new. Uh, or brand new to me, at least. I, I've never seen her. And and so we just started chatting. And a lot of the times, nine times out of 10, I'd say, I'm the one that starts the conversation. I'm the one that asks the far majority of the questions, you know, um, w when I'm getting my hair cut. I, I do the same thing when I'm at Walmart, when I'm at the gas station. I always ask, hey, is it a busy day? How's it going today? Is your shift almost over? Just sparking up conversations with, um, with just perfect strangers. And it goes back to, I think it's Think and Grow Rich or one of those personal development books from 50, 60 years ago. It's if you want to be interesting, you have to be interested, being interested in other people. So I just like to kind of fire off questions just to kind of perfect strangers, you know. So that was the case today, getting a haircut. Um, or that wasn't the case today, I'm sorry. We, she was the one asking the questions. I mean, we kind of were both like a ping pong, volleying back and forth, question, answer, question, answer. Just a friendly conversation with a stranger, just the lady cutting my hair. And um, she moved out here roughly about the same time I did. 12 years. Uh, she was from Texas. Uh, we're probably about the same age. She's married, has three kids, has, I think, I don't know, an 11 and two 10 year olds, I think she said. And she was expressing um, the concerns of raising the kids in like middle school and high school out here in Vegas. So that's a big concern out here. Uh, I certainly don't want to raise the kids out here. They're three and five. So I think we have a couple years before I want to get them out of the Sin City environment. Uh, just too much temptation. So so she was saying how her and her husband and the kids are moving to St. Louis here in a couple months just to get out of Vegas and all that. That's where her husband's family is. Uh, but we just like I said, it was just a casual conversation, nothing earth shattering in this video. Uh, but I kind of, as we got further in the conversation, 15 minutes that I was getting my hair cut, if that, um, I had told her a story about how my sister got a DUI out here uh, in 07, you know. Uh, Really had nothing to do with it, uh, but I was just kind of telling a story of moving out here, and that kind of just came up. And then I got thinking, like, as I'm driving home, I'm like, why did I, like, that's kind of personal. Like, why did I tell her that story? Like, and the, so I got thinking, I was like, I trusted her, you know? Like, it was like 15 minutes of just kind of back and forth, and she took an interest in me. And I know she's a hairstylist. She works off tips and that, and if you talk to the, your customer, you're probably going to get more tips, which a lot of hairstylists at that place don't understand that because like I said I'm typically the one that sparks the conversation so I just thought that was just really interesting her just asking some questions taking an interest in my life um, or the, for 15 minutes you know just asking questions and um, me trusting her and telling her about like my sister which like I said has nothing to do uh, or she didn't really need to know that personal story so again just kind of a weird thing nothing earth-shattering anything but if you want to build trust Ask questions. Take an interest in that person. Uh, if you're a salesperson, if you're an entrepreneur and you're selling things, uh, which is a big, big, big part of entrepreneurship, just about every business you're going to need to sell, uh, either face-to-face -face or over the phone. Now, there are some online businesses. If you do e-commerce, if you sell courses, you don't have to necessarily pick up the phone and be face-to-face -face selling, but a lot of it comes down to selling. Uh, selling and leadership, I'd argue, are the two uh, key traits uh, just about any successful entrepreneur has. You, you need those two. Um, absolutely need those two. So again, just kind of an observation I had. And I thought, oh, cool, I could turn this into a YouTube video because this is kind of a life lesson, not just business-wise, but ask questions, you know, and, and take an interest in there. I think they say like on sales calls, you know, or when you're selling, it should be, the salesperson should talk 40% of the time and the other person should talk 60% of the time. And how you get people to talking is you ask questions, and then you ask more questions, and then they start opening up about things. So that's that's kind of the message here. Uh, one last thing, Jim Camp, he was like the world's feared negotiator. He had a thing uh, years ago that he talked about. He passed away a few years ago, but he had a thing that I had heard from Ben Settle that he talked about saying, if it's, for, as an example, someone's uh, knocking on the door, door-to-door -door sales selling uh, weed killer. He says, I don't care about your weed killer. Talk about my crabgrass. I want to know about my crabgrass, my crabgrass. I don't care about your weed killer. Talk about my crabgrass. What are you going to do to get rid of 
eliminate the crabgrass. So again, playing in their so-called backyard, taking an interest in their life, uh, asking them questions uh, and kind of getting information out of them. So that's it. Just kind of a little observation I made while getting a haircut. Hey, if you're a dadpreneur and you like these type of, um, these type of videos, hit that red subscribe button down below or uh, I'll put up a little, uh, my little picture right here. You can click on that and it'll subscribe. Also, if you have any comments, questions, tips, tricks, strategies about how you um, build trust, you know, share them in the comments below to help the community and all that. So that's all I got for now. Thank you.